Uh, thank you for inviting us to come to you guys' clinic. Um, like I told that first group, you guys have a great setup here. Just from watching and observing from the side, watching you guys do all the warm-up drills. You guys are already doing some plyometric drills. You guys doing some footwork drills. And it's the same thing we do at, at the university level, just at a different level. But you guys have a good head start, a great head start of what we're doing with our athletes. So keep working hard. Keep um, following the instructions from your coaches because you guys have great coaches. Um, I, I don't know if you know, but Coach Steph played at University of Hawaii. Same time, we're going to, I was going to school there. And Coach Fiona Nepo, I remember coaching against her when she was at Nebraska. And she was a hell of a setter for the Huskers. So you guys have some great people on staff. Make sure you guys pay attention and have great, great effort. Great effort every day. It's one thing I tell our athletes, some things you can't control, but the one thing you can't control is your effort. How hard you go, I mean, how much you put into it, and the attention you give your coaches. So that's just something you can do individually each and every time you train. Um, a little bit about myself and Coach Cox. Uh, we're, we work in the strength and conditioning department at the university. Our job is to prepare all of our athletes for, for their sport, uh, football, down to swimming and diving. And we have a, about 22 different sports, men and women, over 500 athletes. And we train, each team trains, they have mandatory training um, every day. We start as early as 5.30 in the morning to 6.30 at night. And that's one thing different when you get to the college level now. Training is not optional, I mean it's mandatory. And that's something they do every day besides going to school, going to practice, going to study hall, they gotta come and train. Um, so that's what we do. Um, we, 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 me and Coach Cox directly work with women's volleyball. And last night was not a good night for us. But I can tell you that there's no one or no, no um, one more disappointed than what happened last night than our girls and our coaches. Because our girls, they, they work extremely hard. And our coaches, uh, Coach Dave, I mean, they do a great job of getting the girls in and putting the time in. Uh, volleyball, once we we'll take a couple weeks off, then we start our training again. We, we train four days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 6.30 a.m. in the morning. And we'll train from January to May. And then we'll take a couple, couple weeks off and then start our summer training. So they put a lot of work and time into this sport. And really a great group of girls, hard workers, great role models, uh, good kids. And so unfortunately for them, I mean, we didn't do it well last night. But I can tell you this, they'll be successful outside because they work hard. And I, I'm sure they do a fantastic job whatever field they get into, OK? So they're great girls. Um, as far as today, we were brought in to speak a little bit about core training. Um, believe it or not, every time you step onto the gym and do some different drills, you're working your core. Because you, so in order to have balance and power and speed, you have to have some type of core development. Okay, so simple acts like jumping, running, you're activating your core. Um, I know you guys are doing some movements with your coaches as far as the planks, I mean your front planks. Um, you guys want to demo real quick? Just real quick. We just keep it real simple on the planks. Okay, you can face uh, Okay, just a couple of coaching points on the planks. You, you want to make sure you're trying to, a rod is running straight through your body. <laughs> Probably not the best position right there, but. <laughs> but you want to make sure you're nice and straight, okay? And try and keep it tight in here all the way through, okay? What you don't want to do when you're planking is raise this up. You don't have no, no teepees, okay? And then don't sag it like this. Okay, try and keep it in a straight line, okay? And you can do this on your own for time. Uh, you can watch the clock, maybe 20, 30 seconds, take a break, and then as you get better, you can increase the time. Okay, I'll show you one. You guys are a little bit more advanced in the young group, but I'll show you the, the twist. Okay, we're just adding a twist where we're picking up one leg, twisting on the inside, and coming opposite side. Okay? Just twist. Let's go, Derek. Let's go, Derek. Okay, I like this one. You can just do maybe 10 reps and oh, take a break, God. okay? But that, that, that adds a little bit more uh, degree of difficulty because you're stabilizing oh. on one foot only, and then you're getting some movement as well. Okay, good side. But we do have some ball drills that we want to show you. What we do with med, med balls, some weighted balls that we do with our athletes. But uh, it's pretty simple. And you can do it here uh, by yourself or with a partner. Um, okay, the first one we're going to do is a chest pass. Sitting back, feet up in the air, back at about 45, and all he's going to catch it and throw it back to me. Okay. 
Okay, so you're working your core, and then you're also working your um, hand-eye coordination as well. Okay? And so we make sure we keep our feet up in the air. And ball's coming right back to me. Ah. And, and it's almost like volleyball because you're working your fingers too, throwing the ball out. Okay? One. We got toe touches. Feet straight up in the air. You're going to bring your shoulder blades off the ground and try and touch your toe. Keep, keep your legs here. <laughs> keep it here. Don't be moving it all over the damn place. Just keep it right here. There you go. One more drill. I'll just show you one. If, if, you, if you don't have a person, you can do all that drill. Same thing on the wall now. You don't have a partner. Instead of doing a sit-up toss, you can stay right here. Chest pass. Maybe then you're the wall. <laughs> chest pass here. Okay. You want to stay in a nice athletic stance here. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and again, you're working, you're working hand-eye coordination. Okay. If you want to get some rotational movement, that's the wall. I'm just rotating here, throwing off the wall, coming back. So now I'm getting my rotation in, which is what you need for, for volleyball. Okay. Because you're doing a lot of swinging and rotation. Okay. One more drill you can do too. Don't do it now, but on your own, we do it the med ball. It slams. Bring the ball way up over heads and slamming that thing down as hard as we can. Okay. Again, it's mimicking your movement of swinging. And you can do that at home. Okay, don't get a light bulb where it's gonna bust the light, but try and go outside if you can do it. But that's uh, another drill you can do. But if you keep it simple and the basic ones, you'll be fine, okay? And like I said earlier, you guys have a great setup here. You guys have good coaches. You guys have good drills. And um, it's, it's set up in a proper way, so I think you guys will be fine. Um, if you ever got, if you guys have had have a chance to come up to university, you guys are more than welcome to swing by the weight room. Cause it's downstairs on the stand sheriff, and take a peek at where we train all of our athletes. Okay, you guys can come by anytime and, and visit us. Yes. So, a small part of our training is is the is the core workout. So we'll do something similar to what you guys are doing, doing your lateral drills, your plyometrics, and then once we're loose, nice and sweaty like this, then we'll blast our cores, and and that'll take about ten. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then after that, then we, we start our workout. And our lifting will probably be about an hour. And we do cleans, squats, presses. I mean, we usually train four days a week with volleyball, so two of our training days will be geared towards our explosive movements and lower body, and two times a week we'll be doing our upper body training explosive. But uh, we get after it now, we get after it. I mean, we, we train hard, like I said earlier. We treat all of our sports the same, we come in and work hard. And we lift, I mean, all year round. Once we hit in season, doesn't mean we stop training. We go twice a week, Monday, Wednesday mornings after practice. They practice at 6.30 a.m. We have weights at 8.30 a.m. for uh, women's volleyball. And that goes through the entire season. Okay, the only thing changes is our um, loads. And we try to take it a, a little bit easier in, in the in-season training. But training is all year round, weight training and conditioning. Okay, you can do this at home with your parents. I mean, if you've got a break between uh, watching TV or nothing going on at home, hey, knock out a couple sets here and there. One thing about being an athlete, if you want to be better than anybody else, you got to do things over and over and over again until you, until you master it, all right? Just like volleyball. You don't, get a, you don't get better by passing, taking balls, getting reps, reps. Same thing with football and baseball. You got to keep on doing the drills over and over again until you master it, okay? Um, hey, I appreciate what you have. Make sure man, you guys give great effort, pay attention, and, and have fun. The number one thing is having fun. All right, have fun with what you do. Say thank you to your coaches at the end of your workouts, and thank you for having me and Coach Cox here. Hope you guys have a great day and the rest of your clinics. Enjoy yourself. All right. Thank you.